everybody, I'm Jackson. I'm Kenny. This is Brinley. And we are JK Builders. Builders. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Also hit the like button. It helps out the channel a lot and it's very much appreciated. Before we get started, we wanted to show you a few sets that we got since we did our last video. Um, we did get a package yesterday and then a package with two more sets today. Uh, so let's check them out. The first one that we got was the one that I said I ordered after we got home from that Lego haul uh, last week. It is the pickup truck. So I've been hearing a lot of people complain about this pickup truck because the colors are different in the red. Um, we're getting some variation. Some people are saying it's because it's an old truck. It's like the patina in the paint or something like that. I'm hoping my red bricks are all the same color because I'll be pretty disappointed if they're different shades of red. But we'll definitely be building this one here very soon and reviewing it. This is also going to be part of our, our winter decor project that we've convinced Mom to allow us to do. I've been trying to decorate our house with Lego for... A long time now and I think I finally convinced her a way that we can do it and that is by setting up a winter village which explains the other two sets that we got today one is the brand new set Santa's visit um, which is the what <laughs> which is the holiday set that was just released for this year a little bum that these boxes were kind of beat up Again. Yeah, this one's pretty much like open. Yeah, man. <laughs> I ordered these from Lego. And then along with that, we also ordered the uh, gingerbread house. <laughs> Hi, Brinley. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> so the plan now is to have a winter display for <laughs> Christmas time. That will include the two winter village sets as well as the pickup truck. And then we got Santa's sleigh. We got the penguin. So we're just going to be able to do a little winter wonderland with Lego. Today we're doing a review of a brand new set from Lego Batman. It was just released on October 1st. It is the the Batman cow from Batman the Classic TV series. Jackson, tell us about the box. Well, it's 18 plus. It's got the 18 plus background. The item number is 76238 and there is 372 pieces. So yeah, just 372 pieces, which makes this one of the lowest piece counts of the helmet or cowl or yeah. mask options that we have um there isn't nearly as much to it i built this one really really fast but yeah he did the box art is pretty cool you got the old school logo up here you got a picture of the cowl here you got the batman logo down here <laughs> on the back of the box it gives you another view of the cowl um it does sit on a stand which is kind of cool and then you get a couple different pictures of adam west himself who did play the classic 1966 batman um, it measures 7.6 inches tall, which is about 19.3 centimeters. Um, and then, like it shows right here, it has the little plaque that says Batman Classic TV Series, and then it has the little Batman logo. So that is pretty much the box. Let's check out the instruction book. Instruction book. <laughs> Here's the instruction book. So just a little book for a little set, just 372 pieces. Um, so the book itself has about 92 pages. There's a little bit of info in the front about the old school Batman and the process of creating this cowl, um, but nothing too special in this. It has a light background. Um, it's pretty typical of the other helmet sets that I've built before. Um, the only difference that I noticed was that the order was different. Like you built the, yeah. you you built built the cowl the first and then the, the stand last. Yeah, the cowl. Where yeah, the I old see. ones, the stand was always built first. But yeah. um, there is a little bit of difference to how the cowl actually sits on the stand, which we'll talk about in just a second. But um, overall, pretty simple build. It was really fast. It only took me, oh, like, not even an hour, probably. Yeah, I'd say, like, three minutes. It was really quick. But anyway, let's check out the set. All right, so here's the classic Batman cowl all completed. So we'll start at the stand. It is a pretty uh, standard stand that we've seen in the past. Standard stand. <laughs> the only difference is you have these clear pieces down here. I think that's similar to the other Batman cowl. Yeah, it is. Um, it has the plaque that says Batman Classic TV Series, and then it has that more old school Batman logo, which I think is cool. Um, so yeah, not too much different as far as that goes. As you come up, it has the mask itself. There were some cool little techniques involved with the nose and the eyebrows, much like the other masks that we've seen. Mm -hmm. uh, not a whole lot different in this build. Like I said, it was actually more basic than the other ones. Um, not really any details on the back. You just have these pieces here for the ears um, and then some details in the face and eyes. Unlike the other Batman cowl that had the white behind the eyes, this one doesn't. It's just um, hollow, so nothing additional there. And then it did have a couple of stickers, I think three total, for these accents above the eyes. Um, but yeah, I really like the look of it. I like the color. The dark blue uh, looks really good with the black. 
and those accents I think look nice on the face as well. Uh, but I mean, I think it's a good representation of the mess that we see in that classic Batman series. And I think it's pretty cool the way that it looks. I think the biggest difference in this one is the way that it sits on this stand. This one isn't attached. So it's actually got like the little uh, circle piece there. Um, and then it just rests on top in that little gap there. It's more what you'd expect for being like a cow sitting on a stand where the other Batman mask <clears throat> is attached and it's kind of weird. It doesn't give you the, the appearance fully that it is a cow sitting on a stand, which I think is that appearance that the mouth is hanging open and yeah. it's kind of weird. Like... But this one, like, there's no doubt what it is. It's a mask and it's sitting on a stand. <clears throat> so, and you can take it off and you can put it on. So, I think that's actually pretty, pretty good, but... All in all, it is pretty small, it was pretty basic, but still I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, so the classic Batman cowl. Um, we'll put a, do a side-by-side -side view of the two. So here we have the Batman cowl that was released uh, several months ago, and this is the brand new one. Um, you can see they're, they're very similar size-wise. Um, this has the bigger ears, which is, uh, you know, the old school one does have just the, the smaller ears. This one has the chin strap. This one has the white for the eyes, which this one doesn't. And this one doesn't remove from the stand where this one is removable. So. Jackson, what are some of the things that you like about this new one? Um, well, I really like, I mean, I've only seen pictures, but it really does, it, like, all of the stickers and details on it, it makes it look just like from the TV, wait, the TV show and the movie. Yeah, and you've seen more than that. We've been watching yeah, clips on YouTube of the classic Batman. Batman. Um, Jack, actually, we just ordered the, the DVD on eBay. Cause we couldn't Woo! find it on Netflix or anything. So we got on eBay, we paid like four bucks for the old school DVD. And as soon as it gets here, we're gonna watch it together. But, uh, it's actually a pretty funny show. Um, That's why I wanna watch it. Uh, is there anything you don't like about this one, Jackson? Um, no, not really. <laughs> so this Batman cow does retail for $59, um, which is actually the same as this one. This one, the piece count was 410. It's 372 on this one. So you're getting quite a few less pieces. Um, that's gonna be my biggest complaint on this one is that I think it's grossly overpriced. 372 pieces yeah. uh, for $59.99, $60. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That is a lot more than it should be. This is like a, I would say it's like a $39 set, you know, is what it really I'd probably should like be. I think it's like $29.99. I think $39, $49 maybe, but $59 is just way, way too much. Yeah. Jackson, you gonna buy this one? Are you gonna wait for a sale or are you gonna pass? Wait for a sale. Yeah, I'm definitely waiting for a sale also. I think it's cool. I think it displays really nicely. I think it's awesome one to add to your collection. Like if you have all the other helmets, cowls, masks, heads, all that stuff. Um, like we have the Venom and Carnage over there. We have the Iron Man. Then we have all the uh, Star Wars helmets behind us. I think they look really cool together. And I think this one will add um, a lot to that collection and fits in really nicely. Also, if you're a fan of the old school 1966 Batman, it's, it's a must have. Uh, but yeah, if you can wait for a sale, I would definitely do that because it is at least 25% overpriced, if yeah. not more. Well, it's definitely worth having, but for the price, it's it's too much money. Brinley, are you going to buy it, wait for a sale, or pass? Pass. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ow! You do not like this set? No. All right, so there it is. The Lego Batman cow from the classic Batman TV series. Do you have it? Do you want it? What do you think of it? Comment down below. As always, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, keep, keep on, on <laughs>